In this tutorial, I'll teach you how easy it is for you to split, cut, and trim your video clips to remove segments of a video from the beginning, middle, or end. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. So I've opened up Video Studio and have a video clip that I want to edit on my timeline. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to split a clip. You might want to split a clip if you want to delete a large segment of your video, or even if you want to put some other type of media or transition in between the two segments. To do this, drag your playhead to the part of the clip that you want to split into two different segments. Then click on the clip that you want to split on your timeline. Now go up and click on the scissors icon below the preview pane. Now you'll see that the video clip has been split into two different segments. From here, we can drag the segments along the timeline if we want to reposition the clips, or even add a photo or other type of media in between. Now I want to cut out a few seconds in between this clip. I'll drag my playhead to where I want to make my second cut. Then click on my clip, and once again, click the scissors icon. Now let's say I want to delete the clip in the middle. To do that, I'll click on the clip that I want to delete. From here I can press the delete key on my keyboard, or I can right click on the clip, and then select delete from the drop down menu. And now just click and drag the media to the left to push both segments together. Alternatively, I can right-click on the gap between the segments and select Remove Gap from the drop-down menu. One more important thing to note about the scissors icon is that you'll need to make sure that your clip is highlighted before clicking the scissors icon. Otherwise, the function might be disabled if there is media on multiple tracks such as titles. But if your media is selected, you'll be able to use the scissors icon regardless. So now I want to talk about trimming clips. We use trimming when we want to remove segments from the beginning or the end of our clips. This is really easy to do. Depending on whether you want to trim the beginning or end of the clip, you will highlight your cursor over the edge of the clip that you want to trim until you see an arrow icon pop up. Now left click and drag in the direction that you want to trim your clip. You can do this to trim from both the beginning part of your clip and also the ending in the same way. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the multi-trim video feature, which is another method for breaking down a clip into multiple segments. This is great if you have a long video you're editing and want to extract a few specific clips from it. You can right-click on the video you want to break down and select multi-trim video from the drop-down menu or you can double click on the clip and then click on multi-trim video. So I have this wedding video and I want to extract only a few different clips from the video. I can press play under the preview pane to preview my video. You can also drag the playhead until you get to the part of the video that you want to use as the beginning frame of the first segment. Then click the Set Mark In button. Then drag the playhead to the point where you want the segment to end. And then click the Set Mark Out button. After you do this, you'll see the clip you're extracting will be highlighted in orange. And you can make adjustments to shorten or lengthen the segment by clicking and dragging the edges of the orange box. Now I'll repeat this process again to extract another clip. And you'll see that both clips have been added separately in this section here. You can then click Play Trimmed Video to preview what your new video looks like with these extracted clips. If you're happy with them, click OK. 
Now you'll see that the long video I had before on the timeline has been replaced by the separate clips I extracted. And both segments are independent, which means I can add other media between them or add a nice transition. And now you're ready to start editing and perfecting your videos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.